What's up YouTube? Today I will show you how to overclock your Galaxy S1 running Android 5.1 Lollipop version. Of course we're talking about the 9100 version uh, of the Galaxy S1. As you can see, GT i 900 version running Android 5.1 Lollipop. A long click will give you access to the Lollipop game. So first of all, actually my device is not um, overclocked at all. Uh, we're gonna do it together in a while, in a minute. Um, but as you can see, it's running pretty much good. This is the Galaxy S1 dial. Uh, sorry, the Android Lollipop dial. This is the new browser. And of course we've got uh, a lot of updated applications here. So as you can see everything is new. So you don't have to change kernel or download a custom recovery. After flashing this specific ROM for the Galaxy S1, all you have to do is go to settings and then performance. Now left click show you everything uh, you need to know. CPU speed. Now we'll overclock it to 1.4 GHz and don't forget click on apply automatically on boot. If this is not checked, um, the ROM will just, uh, after rebooting, it just go back to 1 GHz only. The Galaxy S1, as you guys know, it's a uh, 1 GHz stock, and um, I would um, overclock it to 1.4 GHz. Um, actually, some sometime between 1.2 to 1.4 GHz is the best. Uh, you don't have an option here, but um, some ROMs allow you to put 1.5 GHz. It's not good at all. Minimum speed just to leave it on 100 megahertz. I wouldn't touch you on the governor at all. I mean, if you want to play a hard game, just put it on performance. It will kill your battery, but uh, this one will be super fast. If you want to save battery, just click on power save. The one will not move, and everything is gonna be laggy because the CPU is limited, but the battery would be better. I would uh, I wouldn't touch here actually only if you need to this don't don't touch it just uh, leave it only if you're freak here you can see some battery information about your cell phone there's nothing to do here let's go to advanced the stock is 256 kilobytes I've changed it to 1024 the same thing here don't uh, forget to click apply automatically on boot. Same here, just check this up. And uh, actually I wouldn't touch it, um, it's only back, backlight time, so it uh, doesn't matter for me. Here time in states. I mean, here you can check out, uh, if you got uh, any batteries issue, you can check out uh, how long, um, how long the CPU runs, in which rate. As you can see, 1 GHz, which is 1000 MHz, running 6 minutes. Wake clocks. Again, if you got any battery issues and you want to know uh, how long your device uh, is awake or sleeping, just click. This is uh, going to show you everything. Activity, kernel wake clock. You've got a lot of, um, a lot of options here. General information, this is for you guys uh, to know what the Galaxy S1, what you're overclocking. There's not, nothing to see here. This information, just um, space. Voltage control, don't touch it. All you have to touch is the CPU speed. I wouldn't touch it anyway, it's not gonna change your device at all. And uh, here, don't touch it. Don't change the settings here. It really doesn't matter. You just um, just leave it at stock. And here, and as you can see, here's the core of my CPU. Now it's running on only two two hundred megahertz. You see, it changes every second, so it actually doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. This is actually the overclock. Very nice keyboard. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. As you can see, the Galaxy S1 is a, a fast device. Um, with a good battery life actually. Let's check out the battery. 89%. It's gonna be way up to 6 hours. So for network, device is running for 20 minutes already. 
So just thanks for watching.